At least nine states have designated Juneteenth as an official paid state holiday, including New York. News Channel 9's Madison Moore shows us the celebrations here in Syracuse and the impact of the holiday. For Charles Pierce L., Juneteenth is a day to take pause and remember, but also a day to educate. Juneteenth is an opportunity where we can educate our, our African American people and the poor, poor people of, of, uh, you know, of our communities, whether they're here in Syracuse or across the United States. So that's why it's very important to uh, remember from which we came. Reflecting on how far his community has come and celebrating the national recognition it so deserves. It felt great. Anytime you can be recognized as a, as a nation of people and celebrate, uh, celebrate our, our warriors and our people that was in slavery and stuff and knowing that it's, it's no longer in existence and stuff. So it should be a national holiday. It's way overdue. And this Juneteenth event is more than just a celebration. It's an opportunity for the community to gather and build on this moment learning about key issues like the I-81 project and housing developments that will have a direct impact on them. So we're looking forward to sharing information, making people aware that even though 81 is coming down, it needs to come down the right way. And the right way is making sure that people that live in this community and in that footprint are not impacted negatively. The mission is to provide workforce housing for the community. And right now we have thousands and thousands of individuals and families who don't have a decent place to live. Using their voices to advocate for the changes they want to see. You know, and changes start by planting seeds. So we have to start planting and then we got a neutral. Working to create a better future for generations to come. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.